Hey, I was just gifted this Presto stuffed waffle maker and man, I'm excited to actually get and try this out. This looks so awesome. So let me go ahead and I'll get everything taken out, show you what's included here. And there you go. That's everything in the box right there. All right, let's take this out. So that's your overall size and look. Alright, awesome. Alright, so before I get to experimenting a little bit, let me just go ahead and show you. So currently it's on right now. You have the power light, which is lit up. Now what's cool, and I just noticed it, they have this little lever on this side right here. So when it's time to store it away, you can lift this up and lock it in place. That way it takes up a lot less space, especially maybe you're putting it in a pantry or a cabinet. So that's a great idea right there. Now when you open this up, you can see it comes with some tongs that are attached to it. So it's an easy release. Obviously once you put everything in, you put the batter, whatever ingredients, you're gonna go ahead and just turn it to the other side for it to start doing its thing here. All right, so this is everything. This is what it looks like. We have some pancake mix right here. Now I'm just gonna kind of keep it simple. We're gonna do some egg and cheese. I'm also going to add some ghee butter to this just to add a little extra flavor as well. Now, what I didn't mention, and this I thought was really cool. So this is the instruction manual right here. But if you turn a couple pages, it has some amazing different recipes in here. Like this, I didn't even think of making s'mores inside of here. My kids are going to go crazy when I tell them that. Also, you can do chicken and waffles. You can do pizza. You can make a Reuben. I mean, there's so many different recipes in here. So th really the sky's the limit for whatever you want to do with this. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of ghee butter to start just to kind of get a little extra flavor in there. And then we'll get our pancake batter put in. Now I'm not sure if I put enough there. Hopefully I did. Then we're going to start adding our ham. and some cheese. And then we're just gonna go ahead and cover it with the rest of the batter here. And we're just gonna fill it right up to the top, just like that. We'll close it up. Go ahead and flip it. And now we'll give it about seven minutes or so. All right, let's check this out. Bam, oh, perfect. Look at that. And again, it's got the easy release. Just like that, perfectly cooked all around. All right, now it's time to actually cut this open and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look how perfect that looks right there. Hey, I mean, this thing definitely works. There's so many ideas coming to mind right now of what I'm gonna be doing with this. My kids are gonna absolutely love this when they try it. This is definitely one I would recommend.